I'm Todd Grisham. Carl the Cobra Frotch, a super middleweight multi-time world champion. George St. George Groves. We've seen his fights with Carl Frotch. He is always in there to hurt you. This London, England native looking to do damage today. Look at this. These fights are so up for it. Look at that. The fighters are in the ring. It's time for the official introductions. Here's the Hall of Famer. Shit. This bout is one of the hot. And we're off and running between these two really accomplished fighters. Let's see how they come out. Good counter right hand again. Nice job landing that left counter punch. He threw the hook, didn't land. Not a lot of defense here at all. Talk about massive interest. Their first fight, Groves versus Frotch, had over 80,000 people in attendance. This truly is one of the great rivalries in all of the UK. So let's go to the history of these two fights. First fight, Carl Frotch was put down. We were shocked. The whole world was shocked. You look ringside, people were choking on their beer. Then you stopped him in there. I think it was round seven, round eight. George Groves was upset with the referee because he didn't think he should be stopped. That's when the trouble started. Frosh is booed out of the ring. They threw coins at him, they threw beer at him, they did everything, they abused him. Walked in the hero, walked out a zero. Fight number two, Wembley Stadium. 80,000 people, 80,000 people, you would never ever believe it in your life. I'm Carl Frosch, we'll make sure you never forget it, can remind you every time you interview. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Good counter-punching from both these fighters. Left punch. Catch and shoot. Left counter score. They won't give us a second to catch our breath. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. That was almost a 10-8 round. Here we go for round two. Coming off that fantastic last round. See if they can keep, they they keep, keep his keep momentum going. Kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Good counter punch. Good one. And he caught George Groves big there. And that's exactly where he doesn't need to be. Disaster averted, it seems. We continue on. After so much pre-hype fight and social media drama, I can't believe we're actually in the midst of them fighting. This is not just hype. We are in for something special tonight. What an arena, what an atmosphere, what a buildup. And a counter left. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Both men step back for just a moment. Come on, give these guys a chance. They're just trying to figure out how they're going to deal with it. Yes, they need to be offensive and defensive. It's just trying to figure out which puzzle fits which. You'd like to see someone use a jab here to establish a boxing presence, but no, they just want to fight. Timing beats speed, speed beats power. Great counter right hand there. That left shot land. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Good counter punching for both these athletes. Good left counter that lands. You okay. know. Absolutely. 
Here we go in round three. Who's gonna land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kick. And he caught George Groves big there. St. George is down. So it's onward and upward after another knockout win here. What a build-up. What a journey towards this fight. What a fight itself. The crowd enjoyed it. The fighters enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed it. And what a way to end the fight. There's no mistake there about who won. What a shot. I'm Todd Grisham, the crowd. Tyson Fury, this multi-time heavyweight champion of the world, fighting out of Manchester, England. He'll beat you down and then sing to you afterwards. Deontay Wilder, he is the bronze bomber. Fighting out of Tuscaloosa, Alabama, the former heavyweight champion of the world. Oh, pure bad blood. So now let's go into the ring for the official introductions. Here's the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout, what a pleasure it is to be here. So here we go, should be a good one. Missed him with that uppercut. Who's willing to go where the other fighter won't? Insane action. It's Wilder versus Fury. Someone's going down, and I imagine it'll be both of them at some point going down. Oh my gosh, come on. This is that fight. No matter what you think of Tyson Fury, he has gotten there with the biggest, most powerful, most dangerous fighter, puncher in the world in down to Wilder. This guy can knock you out from two inches. He's got it, but Tyson Fury is smart. Like a, a complete warmonger. Got in his head well before he set to win. This is fight number four. Every fight is getting more exciting than the other. And every time Tyson Fury has had his number, Deontay Wilder is an angry, powerful, dangerous fighter. He always will be. The only one that's got his number, Tyson Fury. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. They keeping their gloves up. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds. And Deontay Wilder just got clipped. Oh, I heard that never by saw it. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. Here we go for round two. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Left counter score. Nice job landing that left counter punch. That left shot lands. He threw the hook, didn't land.
great counter right hand there. All the talking has been done. It's time to start doing the walking. Todd, listen to them. Listen to them. You can, you can hear the noise, but you don't know what they're saying. It's that loud. I'm sorry, man. I'm sure. It looks like we're going to see an early night here. He is rocked. Trying to answer back. And right back into the fray. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Good right hand. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Neither fighter willing to slow down. Another scoring shot there. Beautiful counter shot. It's all offense all the time. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Good counter right hand again. Pretty dominant round. The bell rings and we start the third. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Nice offensive display, landing that left counter. Lands with the right counter. The counter fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Todd, I understand. So, and they're down, trying to make it up before 10 as the referee continues the count. Back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. Fantastic punch. Neither man really defending themselves. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got. Oh my goodness. I admire these guys. Fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. Oh, this is a slugger right here in front of him. These kind of fighters, they want to get hit in the face because it cheesed them on. They want to stand there and fight in the trenches. There's a counter shot. Oh, Wilder just got clipped and he's in a world of trouble. And down goes Deontay. Close round with 10 seconds to go. Both men were knocked out. On to the fourth we go. Both fighters went to the canvas last round. What are we going to see here? That is showing the fitness. That is showing the stamina. That is showing the hard work done in the gym. If you can get knocked down and get back up and knock your opponent down in the same round, it's an 8-8 round, but that's how it rolls. A perfect counter lands. He misses with that jab. Good left counter that lands. This fighter has not shown us much defense at all. Let's 
see if these two heavyweights decide to exchange bombs early or decide to box a little bit. Because they're so big, because they can push, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire. Because somebody's going to get hurt and someone's going to react. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Nice counter shot. I want to back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. Nice counter. They both want the knockout. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Good counter punch. This is some of the best action I've seen in any round, anywhere. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Punch, counter punch. Well, we know the... And there's the bell for round five. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. left scores how much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through I've seen some fighters with a granite chin you can hit them with a sledgehammer they are not going to move but then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like crisp as soon as you touch them they're gone and this is the danger spot You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. They've got the momentum. They've got the advantage. On to the sixth round. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Wanted action and they are delivering. Good counter left hand there. Nice punch. Good counter punching. Nice counter shot. Nice counter punch. This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. This can be so frustrating when you remember such a fast fighter. Fast fighter that can throw three, four shot combinations before you even let one off. That creates frustration and that's when it gets hard. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he fails to score with that left hook. Very close match. He shows the... And down goes Deontay!
So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. Catch and shoot. You couldn't write a script like this. This is like Rocky versus Apollo. It looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. Let's see how they go. There's the bell to start round seven. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full bound because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. Beautiful counter punch. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? Punching from both these fighters. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. Let me explain to you about a fast fighter. A fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed. They're confident. They know they just have to quick burst. Boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Oh, Wilder just got clipped, and he's in a world of trouble. And down goes Wilder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. It's all offense, all the time. As we enter the final 10 seconds here, it's probably a round he'd rather forget. Good counterpunching for both these athletes. So it's round eight, and we're off again. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance. Oh, Wilder just got clipped, and the bronze bomber goes down. They'll make it up, and this fight continues. Deontay Wilder rocked right now. He's in some serious trouble. That left counterpunch will score. He just misses with that big right hand.
So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. High punch. You don't want to go tit for tat in there in this fight. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. They exchange punches. One round, two knockdowns. Both fighters starting to get tired as we start round nine. Both fighters knocked down in the last round. What do we have in store for us in this one? Two knockdowns in the same round to both fighters. How is this going to work? But you know what? The one that was knocked down earlier, he's the one that's got more time to recover. But it's still hard. It still plays on your brain to see what's happened. they got to think like a gopher. Forget after 10 seconds. they got to be smart. Deontay Wilder rocked right now. He's in some serious trouble. Didn't wait long to get back and get engaged. That counter shot lands. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And a counter left. Good left hand. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. another scoring shot. Down her right. And, De and down goes Deontay. Many people would have predicted it, but we've got a knockout victory. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. You see shots like that in the gym. At least for once, this is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably even heard it. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. Round seven, here we go. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Nice punch. He just missed with that left jab. Good left counter that lands. We wanted action, and they are giving us action. Counter right. Oh, 
It doesn't matter the records between these two. Gotti and Ward have already given us two fights of the year, and we're looking for another one in this battle. Ward from Boston. You remember these Boston fighters, they are tough. They are tough down to the core. Not a pushover. You see what Ward's done. So this is why these two guys are fighting again. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. He just misses with that big right hand. Good counter right hand again. Might want to back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. Timing beats speed, speed beats power. Good counter punching for both these athletes. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Nice counter punch. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? You know what? I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, though, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. And they're back at it again here in round eight. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. And a counter left. That counter shot lands. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Counter punch is my favorite. Hi. They're both trying for a knockout. Look at him trying to fight his way out of this. He might just want to hold on and play some defense. Well, he's firing back now. Sometimes offense can be your best defense. Nice exchanges from both. And that shot just rung his bell. Mickey Ward right now looking for a way out. I don't know if he can find it. Trying to measure his punches now. They score again with the left hand. Good counter left hand there. Just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. A perfect counter shot. So much firepower here. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Lands with the right counter. Well, this is the time. And there's the bell for round nine. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Offensive display, landing that left counter. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first, and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. It looks like we're going to see an early night here. He is rocked. Trying to answer back. I thought that was going to be a knockdown at least. Missed him with that uppercut. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Beautiful counter shot. Nice counter shot with the right hand. So much for boxing. This is a fight.
Let's see as these two fighters start to feel each other out. One will probably rely more on their speed than their power. Oh my goodness, what pace, what pace. They're like, do you know what Yorkshire Terriers, Todd? That, they're like little Yorkshire Terriers. Oh, and the Irishman just got rocked. He's in some serious trouble here. Can he find his... This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Beautiful counter punch. What would you take? It's round 10. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Catch and shoot. It's like a game of joust. They both got their swords. They're slinging it. That counter scores. Nice counter. Not many of the people in the division hit like them. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Good counter punching. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. He can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you can't think of them. You've just got to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little fagin and pickpocket them. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. Oh, and they just got their best. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. It's all offense all the time. And down goes Ward. Not over to and there's the bell for round 11. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle, man. He's got a he's got a bluff. Him. It's nothing but air on that left uppercut. Nice job landing with that right-hand counter. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. That left counter was perfectly timed. Good left hand. Left counter punch will score. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. There's a counter shot. Good counter punch. Not a lot of defense here at all. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself. Oh, and the Irishman just got rocked. He's in some serious trouble here. Can he find his way out of this storm? Didn't wait long to get back in and get engaged. Good. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Exchange punches. 
That. Who thought we would have made it to 12? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Nice counter shot. Which fighter will say no moss? Mickey Ward gets rocked. He's been in these situations before, but can he find his way? And that shot just rung his bell. Mickey Ward right now looking, and down goes Mickey Ward. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. Somebody can smell blood here. They can smell blood. They've got to be smart. Get in there. Then, boom, back in the same spot again. It happened once. You got away with it. You can do it again. Can't score with that right uppercut. Punch, counter punch. He just misses with that jab. He got out of the way of that right hook. Final 10 seconds here, and I think he knows who's won this round. Nice counter shot. Some might have thought the fight a little bit closer, but the judges are in agreement. A unanimous decision win. They've done it before, now they're doing it again, and look what's happened. A unanimous decision. What a way, what tactics, what a game plan, what a result.